If you ask women and girls what their main fear would be should the world end or society around them collapse, they're going to tell you that part of their fear is what men are going to do to them given the opportunity. And I think part of that is because women are walking around with the knowledge that what stops a lot of men from doing awful things to them is the idea that there might be a repercussion for them, for the man, if they were to be caught and found out that society would know that they had done this thing, would judge them that they would go to jail, like whatever. If you're a guy listening to this, I want you to think really carefully about some of the dudes that you know and what they would do to women and girls if they could guarantee that they would never be caught. There's a really poignant scene in The Walking Dead where one of the male characters says something like, if these guys find us, our men are going to be dead and our women are going to wish that they were. And as a former humanitarian aid worker, I was warned about this all the time. I was warned, like, if you go there and you are taken, they will kill the men, but what they will do to you is going to be so much worse. And also, as a humanitarian aid worker, I have been to countries and spoken to people who witnessed society collapse and the chaos around that because of, like, extreme weather events or natural phenomenon or even civil war. And the one thing that every one of those scenarios had was women and girls being raped and sexually assaulted. I went to Haiti in 2010 after the earthquake and I also went to Pakistan after a flood happened in the same year. And in both countries, I spoke to women who were raped or sexually assaulted by men within the chaos because men seized their opportunity to do something to these women and girls knowing that it was highly unlikely because it was chaotic that they were going to be caught and held accountable for those actions. And the same thing happened when I went to Jordan a few years ago to speak to Syrian refugees. The women there told me of being raped and sexually assaulted when they were in Syria, when they were trying to escape the civil war, and also after they'd moved to Jordan and were living in refugee camps. Like, they were afraid to go to the toilet. They moved around in packs. Like, th there was this knowledge in the back of their mind, like... There are men here who will seize the opportunity to do something to me because they will, don't feel like anything's going to happen to them as a result of doing that. Imagine being a man and only having to worry that the world might end or society might collapse and not also having to worry about what the other gender will do to you if that happens. Like, some things are worse than death. And women are walking around with the knowledge that what keeps them safe is this tiny thread of a threat that men might pay the price if they do something like that. Once that's gone, 